Welcome to Corona Mountain. The place where all your fears lie, all your nightmares come to life. Not really. As much as when I was a kid, this place was actually, yeah, yeah, that. That's what it was. It was the absolute biggest pain in the fucking ass ever. I, I really don't know why it was such a huge issue. All I know is this level pissed me off so much when I was younger. Um, I guarantee you that if I put effort into it, I can probably beat it pretty easily. Okay, so... I think, and you know what the really annoying part is, is that most of these traps aren't even really that, like, there's not much variation in these traps, because there's spikes and there's fire. That's about all you're going to get out of this, or at least this section. And to me, that's kind of lame. Although, I will say it's annoying because the spikes kill you in, like, one hit. It's... That was that was a very very close one, but yeah, it's pretty much instant death, and it's the opposite of fun. Okay, so you walk here, refill your water, then you're gonna smash this crate for an extra life. It's always fun, and then uh, okay, I trained for this in the Rocky movies. Let's do this. Um. Keep your camera this way. It's super helpful. This is this was, and I quote. Well, no, I'm not quoting anybody, but this was, and I kid you not, like the most annoying thing of my childhood in a video game. I hate this part so much because the steering here is just. And I'm not gonna say it's terrible, but it's annoying. It's really annoying. Oh god, oh god! And you touch anything and you're dead. Anything! Your boat can fucking run into a fly. Your boat could run into a fly and it would fall. It would fucking sink. Honestly, I don't see how it's floating in the first place. As far as I'm concerned, that fucking boat's made of wood. How is it in lava? Okay, alright, 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 alright. I think this will be my only other attempt before I decide to start, like, cutting out failures. I don't know, just because it's a pain in the tits and I really just... I don't want to make you guys sit through me just dying over and over and over again. It's not... It's not fair to you. It's not fair! It's never fair! My Batman! Where's Harvey Dent? The Joker. I will say though, in my childhood, as much as this was probably like the most annoying thing in a video game, I will say that the turnout is quite worth it because the boss battle afterwards, in my personal opinion, is really fun. <laughs> I love the final boss battle in this game. It's just, it's great. Okay, okay, so... I mean, I guess... I guess... This would come most annoying to somebody who's really impatient. Because... That's what this requires a lot of, is patience. Because you have to be, like, the most meticulously careful motherfucker in the universe to get past this part. I remember a lot of times I would get past, like, I would get up to that point, like right there where the water's spraying out, and I would, um, I would just get stuck on that platform, because that actually hit the platform. And so then I'd just stand there and be like, oh, what the fuck do I do now? I love how they put a, um, a water refill station right here, you know, as if you're going to be running out of water already. You know, so I guess the game developers knew, like, yeah, this is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. And, yeah, I think I'm stuck. Pretty much. That's that's not fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't touch that. Don't touch that, Mario. Come on. Do it. 
Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my god. Did we just unstuck ourselves? Oh, fuck yeah. No. No, I'm not gonna let this moment go to waste. I'm gonna cherish this moment. I'm gonna cherish it so much. Take a picture. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just need to get close enough to at least hover over there. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Did I say I hated this in just my childhood? No, I hate it now. I hate it now, too. Oh, God. Come on. We'll rush it. You're fucking kidding me! The edge was right there. I'm Batman. <laughs> Like a fucking boss. Okay, let's do this. Let's finish this game. Let's do it. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay. Yeah, I know how to use the rocket nozzle. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> that was a last one. Yes, it was. Konnichiwa. Okay, so why are there clouds in a volcano? Okay, uh, whatever. I don't see why I should be complaining. They're helping me. Okay, this is this is getting really intense. Come on, yeah, let's do this. Oh, oh God. <sighs> Totally love how there's no set size for Bowser, and I've never seen Bowser bigger. I mean, unless you consider... Actually, I, st I think, personally, they use, like, the same exact model as they did in Luigi's Mansion. Um, except, of course, his head doesn't come off. I mean, because it's, like, the same exact size as, as the Bowser bot thing from Luigi's Mansion that King Boo controlled. So, I don't know. It just in It's an interesting thing to think about. But, no. I, I like this... Um, boss battle. Believe it or not, that's my favorite part. That's why I love it. Because when you destroy that, like, you get to climb back up on the, on, I don't know, on the crumbling platform. It's just really cool. It just looks epic. It looks epic as fuck. That's, that's the best way I can put it. It just, it looks fucking epic. I mean, it's simplistic, sure. It's a pretty easy final boss battle. I don't think I've ever actually died on this boss battle. I mean, it's just him breathing fire, baby Bowser shooting missiles out of his um, thing, and you know, Peach is just kind of sitting there. And you just do this to all of the edges. And, like I said, it's, e it's easy. It's simplistic, but it looks epic. You get to walk in the fucking debris, man! Walk in the fucking debris! Oh, well, that was, that was not cool. That was actually really hot. That's why Mario got burned. Oh, oh, I made a cheesy joke there. Cheesy as a pizza. Oh, God. Oh, God. This isn't good. Now it's good. Oh, wait, I just realized I could do that. I feel really stupid. Okay. Let's do this. Die, Bowser!
Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Cooper Line is as strong as ever. Let's just rest a while. And next time we'll come back in space! Oh, sorry, I ruined the moment. In space. The vacation starts now. Roll the credits. Because I'm done with this game. Alright guys, alright. So this is general discussion. Slash what I'm doing next time. Which I usually do in uh, credits for games. <sighs> okay, so I'm done with Super Mario Sunshine. This was a fun run. Like I said, I, I wasn't going to do 100% because I'm really fucking lame, I know. I'm lame as shit. But... You know, I know that lots of people don't really have long attention spans and don't want to see me just do missions and collect 100 coins in every level and stuff. And I know I can make it entertaining, but I myself do not have the patience to sit here and collect all that shit. And I prefer it when I can do things the way I want to. Um, plus, I... I personally do Let's Playing for comedic value, not to show you guys how to do things. I mean, I'll show you guys how to do, like, glitches and Metroid and stuff, no fucking problem. But, like, no. <laughs> I'm here to make you guys laugh and just have a good time. I'm not, I'm not here to be any Chugga Conroy or anything. So. Anyway, I, what I'm doing next. I was considering one of two things, and I personally think one would be more entertaining than the other, but I personally really want to do The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Don't know if you guys are okay with that, though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh that's funny. Oh, God. Plantissimo. El Plantissimo. He's going to be the new dictator of the world. Anyway, no. Don't know if you guys are okay with me doing Skyward Sword, but I really want to do that. Or I want to do Dark Souls. My only issue with doing Skyward Sword is you guys and, well, I don't know. Because I'm like, oh, that means I'm juggling two Zelda games. It's just Majora's Mask will be uploaded a lot less frequently because I need Bucky to be around for it. I mean, he's the holder of the copy of it. And... Um, and Skyward Sword would be like an everyday thing. And I, I fucking love Skyward Sword, so. Um, and I think that it would be very entertaining, personally. And Dark Souls? Dark Souls would be entertaining because it's a pain in the ass. But it's a fun-ass game, and I, I love it. Love that shit. Um... And also, on top of that, even though I'll be juggling two Zelda games if I do Skyward Sword then I will, in fact, be getting done with Metroid Prime 2 soon. I know I have the, what it takes to take on Quadraxis and Emperor Ing and Shadow... No, not Shadow Mario. <laughs> Dark Samus, so... You know, it's, there's not much left of that game either. And so I don't know what I'll do after that. I kind of want to do Banjo-Tooie. But 
I mean, that's that's for when I'm done with that series. But for now, I just want to do either Dark Souls or Skyward Sword. And Skyward Sword would be easier for me to do too because I own it and I don't own Dark Souls. Um, so I don't know. You guys leave comments and shit because I, I want to know your opinion. Um, if you have any other suggestions of your own, I could do that after another series or something. Anyway, I'm going to go. This is me signing out for the last time on Super Mario Sunshine. It's a great way to, uh, it's a great LP to finish in the midst of my summer and the beginning of my return. So, this, I'm sorry for dragging this out so long. I'll see you guys later with uh, whatever game I do next. And I'll probably start that up very, very soon. Alright, see ya.